generic greetings. I've been playing a fair bit of the Battlefield 1 open beta as of late and to my surprise actually quite enjoying it. I, I always thought that Battlefield 1 might be the game that gets me back into the franchise because I haven't really bothered with the Battlefield games for quite some time. I've played most of them. I've played 1942, I've played its expansions, the two expansions, Rotor Rome and Secret Weapons, and then there was Battlefield Vietnam which I actually thought was quite good, although I don't know if it was that well received or not. I also played uh, Battlefield 2, that's an enemy, uh, Battlefield 2, yeah, which was like modern and stuff, and there was a couple of DLC for that, and then 2142, which is obviously the best Battlefield game ever created, and will never be surpassed, and that's fact, not opinion, uh, just to let you know, uh, I'm a massive, ow, uh, dead, pile of dead, uh, yes, I am a massive 2142 fan, it's probably my most played FPS of all time. Uh, that's, uh, I, it was just a fantastic game, it still is a fantastic game, I just wish it was, uh, just wish it was actually working these days. There's probably ways to get it working multiplayer, but uh, nah, alas. Anyway, so yes, I really like that. And then I played... Um, yeah, I'm not going that way. I played uh, Battlefield 3, and that's when I started sort of falling out with the franchise. I, I think I, I really liked um, Bad Company 2, which is quite good. I never played Battlefield Bad Company 1 because I think that was a console exclusive. And there's a couple of other Battlefields as well. I think there was a Battlefield 1943, which was, again, I think it was like a console thing. But either way, I played most of the Battlefields. I sort of fell out with it with Battlefield 3. It was getting too fast-paced, too run and gun. And obviously haven't tried Battlefield 4, nor have I bothered with uh, Hardline because, <laughs> yeah, well, why would I even want to do that? So yeah, I thought Battlefield 1, you know, going back to historical setting, I always prefer historical or sci-fi rather than a modern setting. And I'm glad I thought, I thought, you know, with it going like that and with the, you know, inevitable... Um, reality of transporting something into a World War One setting, you'd think it would slow the pace down, and it has slowed the pace down. There's a sniper over there, and uh, I'm just going to sort of fire over there and get a bit of suppression effect on him. I thought that would uh, that would really help it, and actually, you know what? It has. It has slowed things down quite quite a bit. It's still Battlefield, so there's still um, well, people with machine guns and submachine guns all over the place. I mean, there's four classes in the game. You've got well, this is on this map, by the way, because obviously this is a beta. So you know, the typical disclaimers apply. I should really point out it ain't finished, and obviously it's a very limited um, sample set here. But the idea is, you know, that you got like um, four classes at the moment, as far as I can tell. And uh, let me just see if the snipers up here. I'm going to actually kick his ass. I'm just going to. There you go. Oh, that hurt, didn't it? Well, I would imagine so. Give me that, mate. Right, so, yes, you've got um, four classes. You've got the assault class, which is this, which is armed with a uh, submachine gun, fully automatic. And then you've got the uh, medic class, which is armed with a semi-automatic rifle. And then you've got the sharpshooter, which is a bolt-action rifle, which is, you know, you would you expect most people at this time to have bolt-action rifles. No, most people have got automatic weapons. And then you've got a sport class, which has um, another sort of set of automatic rifles as well. So there's a lot of running going. It's very battlefield. In terms of accuracy, um, you know what? The, the thing is, the game's Never, oh, bloody hell, where's that from? The games have never been accurate. It's a battlefield game, right? They've never been accurate. Even if you play like the first ones, you realise that actually there's pretty much got nothing to do with the uh, with accuracy. It's about the they pick the setting and then they sort of pour things over and make it you know fun. Because if you were supposed to port over a World War One experience, then it would be really, really bloody grim, uh, and the reality would be really, really horrible. You know, I mean, you would just sit you would sit in a trench for you know perhaps two weeks, and is that an enemy? Yes, it is. Uh, you would sit in a trench for weeks and you would be constantly rained on. You would get, you know, there'd be days and days and days of endless artillery shells. Uh, you would get gassed, which is not just as... I mean, in this game, it's quite bad, but, you know, in the reality of it, it's absolutely horrific stuff. I mean, you know, it's... it's um, you know, it'll bur you know, it bl it'll blind you. It's it's actually um, caustic. It could you know, it'll stick to your clothes and contaminate everywhere it goes, and it goes could go miles away. It's just horrible, oh, horrible stuff. Uh, so the reality of all of that is um, not exactly great, is it? By the way, we're actually taking that bomb round. We've done well. Again, another battlefield accuracy there. Look, I can just shoot through our own tail and stuff, which is just terrible. I mean, stuff like that, I really can't forgive. But anyway, I'm just gonna start shooting this guy up. I don't really can't. I don't even know where I'm shooting to be honest because he's keeping us in an area where oh my good grief where's he going now have we taken the bomb round I don't know if we have or not but anyway yeah um, you know actually parting it over it would not really work because you know it, it is a game and stuff I can sort of understand that but uh, you know there's certain things that I, I don't mind you know with, with people having more machine guns and stuff like that that's like fair enough they have to you know make it a battlefield game that uh, you know modern generation would 
one to play. And you know, people with both loads of both action rifles. It's been done, be, you know, it's been done before. Red Orchestra and stuff is, uh, you know, a lot like that. And um, there's also a game called Verdun, which is uh, more accurate as far as I can tell, World War One type setting. I've never played it. Uh, I know a lot of people sort of bring that out and say, oh well, this is better. But uh, don't know which is the better game. It really depends on what you're looking for and whether you can stomach uh, the inherent issues with this. I mean, let's 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 show you battlefield accuracy. We're just going to jump out and then we're going to parachute and then I'm going to land and attack people, which is obviously not really like um, what it was. I mean, look, we're flinging a grenade there and that's going to drop there and we're just going to land and then we're going to take people out. I'm actually getting shot at as well. There we go. So, someone's upstairs, I think. Nope, there's no upstairs. It's all been taken out. Right. And that guy there. You know, I was speaking about inherent, um, in, you know, not, not really that accurate, inherent accuracy, uh, inaccuracy rather. Well, there you go. I just shot that guy about four or five times with a machine gun and he is not dead. Um, you know, I would have, there's a couple of things that I would have liked them to put in. There's actually module damage on planes, it seems. So if you like, uh, if you're like, fire, you can take in, out engines and stuff. But uh, you've got things like the, the land train, uh, sorry, the land ships and uh, tanks and stuff like that that were horrifically horrifically problematic. I mean, they would break down all the time. They had huge reliability issues. None of that seems to be modeled. They don't break down. The tracks don't fall off. The guns don't jam. Same as the, uh, same as the machine guns. I mean, even though they had machine guns to front, they be jamming all the time. I mean, bloody hell, you're in a trench and stuff a lot of the time. And though we're in the desert, that would cause even more issues. I really wish that inaccuracy would be modeled in the game. So you could just like, weapons would jam and they would break and the tanks would break down. I really wish that was in the game. Alas, it is not. Uh, maybe, maybe in other maps, I don't know. Maybe there'll be more for it. Who, who actually knows? Not me, that's for sure. But either way, yeah, that sort of thing was uh, is a little bit annoying. But in terms of like accuracy for weapons that existed and what was deployed and stuff like that, it's not too bad as far as I can tell. I'm certainly not a fountain of all knowledge when it comes to this sort of thing. Far, far, far from it. But uh, yeah. It's, you know, so the settings are okay, I know, the settings seem okay, the uh, equipment seems like okay, maybe just not deployed in the numbers or whatever that it is, and certainly doesn't have a lot of the inherent problems that came with that one. But, you know, does that really make a difference in the game? Well, not really. I mean, it's still, it seems to be still an interesting game. Like I say, it's a bit sort of run and go. I mean, you can see me running through, I'm, I'm, par I'm currently parkouring through windows and all sorts of stuff, and I think there's someone around here. And I've just stopped that guy in the back. There you go. Because I did a bayonet charge. So we can get some. I think there's someone up here as well. There is someone up there. So what I'm going to do is come up and just say... Alright, mate. Yeah! Get some! You're dead. Because I uh, managed to... Well, hit him with a trench mace. Which is always... Well, probably, probably bad for him. Let's see what we've got around here. There's lots of people over there. Actually, what I might do... Is actually... That's a grenade! Wrong button! Oh, God! There we go. That was the wrong button. I'm going to, um... I, can't, I thought I could pick up this weapon. I think it's because he's disappeared now. Hang on, there we go. Ah. So, ah. Hold R to pick up this. So, what I'm going to do is now... Start sniping. I think there's one over there. They're shouting grenades. <laughs> well, they would do, wouldn't they? Let's just see where they're going. Hang on. Is he going to come down here, is he? We have lost objective I can hear people coming around. Just can't tell where they are. That guy's dead. Cool. And, uh, like, the whole accuracy when it comes to, like, uh, getting shot. Like, you know, getting shot is generally not good, right? I mean, that guy's dead. You know, he's just received a bullet to the brain pan, right? But if you shoot someone in the leg, they should be hobbling along, if not just totally prone. I mean, I don't expect you to be totally incapacitated after one shot because, you know, that's, for the majority of people, not that good. But if you get hit in the leg in this game, you should slow down a bit. If you get hit in the arm, your accuracy should be low. What the hell's happened there? Oh, I got stabbed. That's all. Oh, well. That sort of thing. I really wish that would be, you know, that was introduced. But hey-ho. Um, a lot of people have also been complaining for some reason. I don't know why it's receiving a lot of, uh, like, people mourning. I think it's just because the internet, isn't it? But a lot of people have been saying, like, oh, well, you know, it's World War One. you know, you can't really touch that, it's disrespectful. Which I don't understand that, I don't understand why that would be even, why that's even being brought up. Because every other World War, every other conflict, in fact, every other time period in history has been covered pretty much to death in games. So, why on earth you would, how many bullets does one person take? Bloody hell's bells. You know, why on earth it would, um, 
you know, be, be like that, I do not know. You know, at the end of the day, as long as they're not um, taking away what actually happened, then I can't really see a problem with it. Did we just go over a truck? I think we managed to do... Ow. Ow. Nope, we blew up. Oh, because there's a tank in front of us. Right, okay. Hmm. But yeah, there's a lot of people going, Oh, you, you can't uh, You can't do that. Oh, we're on a train. Do you want to see one of the trains? This is cool. He says, Come on, spawn on the train. To play in the train. Damn it, there's no seat available on the train. It's a big train with um, loads of like guns all over it. Which is like, yeah, I'll go with that. Deploy. Nah, no seat available. Oh, well, shame. Loads of guns and cannons all over it. I'm looking forward to see what happens. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some sort of... Um, a lot of the trailers and stuff I saw, they've always been very uh, run and gun, very taking over towns, taking over different areas. I want to see the trench one. I want to see the one where there's just loads of people lining up on either side, shooting at each other or doing charges and things like that. I think that'll, um, that'll be an interesting look. A couple of things they've done in the game as well that have changed is like you get different weather effects now. So you can see it's going darker and that's a jeep. No, it's not a jeep. It's whatever that thing is called. And that's a, that's 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 wrong. Yeah, I flung a big grenade and then he killed me. But yeah, you know, there's a like really good weather and stuff that'll change it in massive dust storms. It'll change different things about the dust storms coming in now, I think. You've also got, I think it's, is it a Zeppelin or is it a barrage balloon? I'm not too sure which one it is, but there's one of the two that uh, is essentially crashing. And it changes like the entire load out of, or entire, or entire load of the map. You, know, you can't really do, there's that train up. It changes like loads of the map, so you can't like go around certain areas. Again, it's like a lot of changes that they've done that to make it interesting, but it is still quintessentially sort of battlefieldish. So we're going to charge around and see if we can uh, take over some points. But was this the game that could get me back into battlefield? Um, maybe. Maybe. It really depends on how much I... I mean, look at that. How many, how many shots did I put into him? Oh, that's because that's one of the special guys. Right. He's essentially a hero. He's got a big minigun. Um, and he's got armor on his front. So, he's actually difficult to take out, so what I'm going to do is do this. Damn it, I didn't make it. Get down! Get some! That's it, there we go. I thought I'd charge him. The best way to take them out is just to charge him, because they've got armor on the front. You can't really do much. What I'm going to do is get in the car and get in the gun. And, hang on. F2. Because we're obviously trying to take this over. So yes, um, you know, there's... Have I taken that? Yes, I've taken attack order complete. I'm getting, I've got points and skills and stuff. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean... Because it's... Oh, look at this sandstorm. It's uh, starting to get pretty cool. And for some reason, I just... I, the car disappeared. But, uh... <laughs> yes, it uh, completely and utterly disappeared. Um, there's certainly more stuff that I wish they would have done, but... I can see me getting back in this. The thing is, I, I thought the same thing about uh, Star Wars Battlefront and played it, and it was a lot of... It was one of the best battle... battle like, it's probably one of the best Star Wars games I've played, yet it was very, very flashy and not a great deal of substance, I thought, after a while. And I probably only put about another... I probably only put about, well, less than 10 hours into the game and just sort of went, nah, it's not for me, and then left it, which is a shame. We have lost but I could probably see myself play more of this. Especially in squads and stuff. So we're taking this over. As you can see, dust storms in here. I do like all of the the planes as well. They're quite good. The magnificent men and their flying machines. I do like that. The reality of being uh, someone in those planes is pretty horrible because, um, yeah, health and safety didn't exist. It was pretty much a brand new concept for the military and stuff. I mean, I think the very first planes, they weren't even armed and they were just used for observation. And, uh, you know, the opponent, like, the, the different nations would be, like, scouting over other peoples and they would just, like, wave at them and stuff. Like, pirate, the pi pilots would see each other and they wouldn't do anything. Because, for a start, there's nothing they could do them, but they didn't see them as a threat. They just were like, oh, yeah, that exists. And they would just sort of look at each other and wave, which is really, really funny when you think about it. That's a friendly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I don't know where them shots are coming from. He's dead. But yeah, that's that's that that, that that you know that's the whole. Like I said, that oh god, that's 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 horrible, horrible, horribleness. Ah, and I'm dead. That's a uh, mustard gas. Horrible stuff. Yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, the planes were like, sort of, they would wave each other and things like that, and then you would try all different concepts and bombers, and you would have ones with, like, a, 
We even have one with like a basket in front of the propeller because they didn't really, they didn't know how to sync the machine gun up to go through the blades and things like that. It was, it was all, it was crazy. And also, um, I think a lot of the, a lot of the pilots actually had diarrhea pretty much constantly because they lubricated the, uh, the, the engines had lubrication of the castor oil for lubrication, which is a diuretic, which is, uh, <laughs> Not exactly how it is tread in a lot of different uh, mediums, is it? That's a lot of people coming towards me here, and I'm not going to be able to survive this. No, I'm down. So they're attacking this area quite strongly. Same as in the tanks and stuff. I think a lot of the, I think some of the early tanks they didn't even they didn't even have an exhaust that went out of the area. It just went straight into the tank, which was um, not great. But yeah, I don't really want them to model all that. I, I'm not really too bothered at all. What the hell's going on over there? I know someone over there. I just don't know. Oh, oh, oh! I think an Australian's just killed me. Um, <laughs> I think the Commonwealth forces are sort of split up. Speaking of forces, there's an interesting choice. They've got um, the ones you would sort of expect. You got uh, British, you got German, um, Ottoman Empire, and um, I can't remember the other one. Oh, the America's in it as well because you know, video games. But France isn't. Now, I'm sorry. They lost over a million men in World War One. How on earth have they? How on earth did they just decide that that's not? You know, we're not going to put them in. I think they said, "Oh, we're going to." Well, they are going to DLC it. They, they, they already did, they, are, they already have said that they are DLCing it. Um, but their oh, well, hell's bells. Their reason for it, I think they said uh, they wanted to, you know, put in a faction. They're not a lot of people may know about, and also a faction or a nation, rather, should I say, uh, and also give them like all of the things they should have you know like and and, and treat it uh, with a lot of uh, just put a lot of stuff in essentially put a lot of stuff in to do with them it, it's typical sort of dlc time now isn't it you know i don't really i know they're in the single player that's what they've announced but uh, the multiplayer uh, no sadly not but uh, dlc at some point i'm sure in fact confirmed as far as i'm aware in terms of the single player i'm very interested to try that as well it would be nice to um it would be nice to see what they do with that one because they could actually you know, do a bit of a, not an historical piece, but they could, you know, treat it a little bit, uh, they could treat it a little bit like that. You see the whole people strafe left and right, left and right, and all of that sort of thing, and people jump up and down, that's what, that's like the modern shooter stuff that I'm not a big fan of. The, 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 mon the most, um, time I've got played in the last, I would probably say, five or six years in terms of shooters is uh, Rainbow Six Siege that doesn't really have that, but even then that's a very, very uh, twitchy headshot type game. I can't really see. I'm trying to shoot through this. Look, can you see airplane damage? Just sort of pausing away here. I've overhead, overhead, overheated my gun. I think we've got that plane down. It's going down. It's going down. But you can see how the dust storm like really does affect it. It's actually very, very nice looking game. It actually runs uh, quite well. I've got uh, all Mac, uh, graphics turned up to a maximum, but I've uh, knocked off. Um, good grief, that's hurting. I've knocked off um, SSAO uh, because, well, that just adds more shadows and makes it hard to shoot. There's probably other effects I can turn off to make it easier to shoot with as well, but alas. I'm not going to have a sip of it, you want. Mmm. That's pretty cold. But yeah, Battlefield 1. I'm, uh, I'm reasonably optimistic, actually. I just hope it doesn't turn into some sort of. Where the hell are we going? Whoa, that was close. Uh, I'm, I'm, I actually think it's quite good. I'm, you know, I'm glad they've um, went to a more historical setting. Actually, I would prefer them to do Battlefield uh, 2143. Uh, that would be much, much, much better. But uh, I'm, I, you know, hopefully we'll see that at some point. We'll see. I don't know why, but people are. I know that people are giving Call of Duty, whatever it is, space warfare type thing, a massive pounding, and saying, "Oh, it's garbage and stuff," even though nobody's played it yet. But still. Why is my shots going? They're not working, look. Apparently, I'm firing a, I'm firing potatoes at them. I don't know what's going on there, but you can see how like, look at all this. Look at them, ace pilot. He's going. Look at that guy. I'm bailing. Bye. I'm out with that. There's no way I'm going to bother with that. And then we'll parachute. Oh, we're actually out of the combat area, so I'm going to fling a grenade. Um, no, that's a gas mask. And um, hi sniper. Bye. You're dead, and I got killed as well. But, you know, it was worth it, I think. <laughs> but I'm reasonably uh, impressed with this. 
I am. It's something I thought what would probably happen is I'd like the idea of it. I'd then play it and go, yep, it's a crappy Battlefield game. It's not for me. But actually, I jumped in and went, yeah, it's a crappy Battlefield game. It's not for me. And then played a bit more and went, actually, I'm getting into this. It's, uh, you know, not exactly... Not exactly what I expected. That's a sniper scope, by the way, that thing there. It's not going to work out, is it? Um, no. It's not exactly what I expected, but I do enjoy it. I am going to uh, probably check this out when it comes out for public release in is it October or something like that. Anyway, that's between a little bit of um, Battlefield 1. I have done fairly poorly, I think. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. I am 17th. 17th out of 57? There can't be 57. I think it's only, t what? It's not 57 aside. It's just these are the people that have been on. Um, uh, I've been fairly poor, essentially. And then we'll go back to main menu, I think. Although, I don't think I can. Ah, well. Either way, that is a bit of Battlefield 1. As I said, uh, it would be nice to see things like uh, like planes and tanks and wep like breaking down and weapons jamming and things like that and the inherent problems with it. It would be nice to see, uh, not location damage, but like um, if you hit someone on the leg, you know, have seen them slow down, hit them in the arm, accuracy decrease, but it's not really that sort of game, is because you've got regenerating health anyway, so yeah, I guess we're not going to get, you can't have everything, is uh, essentially what I'm getting at. In terms of accuracy, seems, um, obviously they've taken liberties and stuff, because they're having to make it interesting and uh, a good game, but yeah, it's uh, it's there, and maybe you'll even learn something, which is always a good thing. We'll see what it is like, we'll see what happens when it actually comes out. Either way, that has been a bit of Battlefield 1, I'll put links in the description so you can check the uh, the webpage out and stuff, like I said, it is open beta. It might still be available, uh, depending on when you're watching this, but either way, there you go, thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.